so we got the uh, rupture disc replaced and we have the uh, system under pressure so um, at this point we need to just we're gonna leave it uh, we're at uh, 7.7 uh, psi we're using the testos so we can get a real uh, zeroed in reading and um, yeah we're just gonna let it roll um, once uh, well, like I said when we get back from lunch we'll check it we're gonna give this you know several several hours um, you know and depending on what it does will depend on how we proceed so uh, at this point it's just a matter of waiting game We did our pressure test, uh, it failed uh, just completely. Um, what we found was these flange gaskets are leaking and that one there on the liquid line is also leaking, le leaking. and so we're going to have to also replace the one there at the evaporator. So our next step is that we're going to get approval to pull this whole economizer assembly off and replace all the gaskets put it back on there are a couple of other very small leaks that I'm not too worried about uh, these are more significant um, but the uh, uh, the others, you know, they're, they're up on the compressor scroll housing or the volute. So we're, we're not going to recommend that because this chiller is already scheduled to be replaced in the next couple of years. And it is not going to be worth, you know, doing a complete overhaul on the compressor just to fix a leak. Um, anyway, I think we can manage with those couple of small leaks just to get them by until we can... Um, until we can finish the repairs. So we, we did find another real small one here where one of the flares adapters that we did not touch or mess with was uh, had a little bit of a leak on it. So we're gonna go ahead and take it off. Uh, we're letting the pressure off on the system. Take it off, uh, redo that, uh, that connection, put some nylog on it, and then that will seal that. We didn't find any other additional leaks in the system outside of those gaskets. Anyway, uh, there'll be more to come on this, guys. <laughs>